Hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy Jake, and it's good to be back in the shy, back in my hometown where I, be honest, where I fucking belong. You know, we got a new Prezzo, we got a new fucking tyrant ruling us that. Let me just say this about I didn't vote, I don't vote for tyrants as a matter of principle, but I do support the act of voting. I do support democracy. In fact, I think all votes should be made public so we can identify the motherfuckers who let these tyrants bulldoze our freedoms every year. That would sure change uh, your lovely, neighborly discussion at the fucking town hall meetings, wouldn't it? Yo. Yo, Dex, what the fuck? My wife's insulin shot up because of this cocksucker you elected, Bo Jiden. So here's what I'm gonna do, Dex. I'm gonna come to your house when you're asleep. And you will sleep, motherfucker. And I'm gonna smother you with chloroform. And I'm gonna tattoo a tiny penis on your cheek. So that whenever you shed a tear, it'll look like the penis is ejaculating. Bo Jiden. It's a new day in America. R.I.P. racism, right? It's almost like it was a bad dream. You got him and Kamalo Harrison trying to get her name right. It's just so hard to say. Kamala. Kamala. And you know she's a bitch who takes it in the ass. And so does Joe. Well, it's the 20s. What do you want? Everybody's taking it in the ass. Doesn't make you special. But you know Kamala's got some big ass panties. She thick. She fine as hell, man. Cop mama. <sighs> can't fucking whistle, but that's okay. She, she got the purple strap on. Like, dude, I can't prove it. Joe Biden was waiting 50 years to get command of the drones. To just be in charge of that shit. Move over 50 Cent. Because this is hustle like you've never seen before. And you must respect it on some level. But I'll tell you this, if he keeps sending out these stimulant checks, uh, he can bomb as many third world shithole countries as he so pleases. Who want to bet Bo Jiden doesn't make it through his first term? I t I'll take the under on that. Would you take the over? Would you challenge me on that? Because you've seen what that job does to a president. It ages the shit out of you. Barack Obama used to look like Barack Obama. Now he looks like the NPC meme. The only reason Trump looks about the same is because, one, he's got makeup crew. He didn't actually do the fucking job, you know? He would just, oh, we got a spending bill? <laughs> Fuck you. I want a Big Mac. Okay, fuck this. Bring Mikey boy in here so I can have gay sex with him. I'm going to go do another rally with fucking toilet paper on my shoe. Now we got Kamalala Ding Dong. But isn't it sad, though? The only way that we were going to get a, a female president in this country is to have her inherit that shit from a man. It ain't right. But I'll tell you why she lost in the primaries, and I'll tell you why Hillary lost. Women are not good liars. Because they never had to be. It was men who created this fucked up game that you now are trying to compete in. That's what happened. Now, women can lie their way out of sex, but nobody believe you. You know, pussy's like $20 bills floating in the breeze. If women came up to me and started asking me, how much would you pay for my vagina? I'd say, about 20 bucks. Let's be honest. And to be honest, I think that's a little generous. Not to discount the value of pussy, but if, if you've ever been to like a fucking state fair or something like that, and you get a bunch of fucking raffle tickets, $20 worth of raffle tickets, what's that, like three or four rides? Now, I would say pussy is a little more fun than a carnival. For sure. It's a little more fun. It ain't Six Flags. Now, let's not get crazy here. Anyway, you ever been on a date and you're just like, yeah, yeah, you want to come back to my place and like hit it and quit it? And she's like... And you're like, oh, so, oh, okay, it was, it was really nice meeting you. Hey, uh, make that two receipts on my plate to go, please. Thank you. Tip the waitress and fuck her instead, because fuck you, bitch. Because it's either we fucking or have a nice life. Pussies like terms and conditions. Ain't nobody got time to be reading that. It's like, you got a nice girl, she loves you, blah, 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 all that. My thing is, I have relationships. I'm never in one. So, when you get in a relationship, you're signing up for Pussy Prime. You get a little free trial. As soon as the pussy dries up, and you're going for longer walks in the shopping mall than you would like, and you're starting to pay attention to other women, what happens is, the pussy makes you forget you got a free trial. So you start seeing charges on your card. 
Holy shit, I forgot to cancel that. That's on me. Getting pussy, in layman's terms, the best way I can describe it is, you ever, like, get out of your car with a, a check or a piece of mail that's important, and you drop it, and then when you go to pick it up, it blows away? And now, you're, you're chasing it like a fucking chicken down the fucking street. Ugh, you stomp on it, it's like, oh, fuck. Before you know it, you're out of breath. But you have to do it. Now, some guys, if your game is really off, you can get caught chasing a, a $20 bill down the street for a long-ass time because it winked at you. But I make sure she understands that my money comes first. My money comes before I come. Have you ever tried to come with insufficient funds? It's like the ultimate antidepressant. It's horrifying. I'm just start starting to think of reasons why I'm fucked up. And one of the main ones is that I had a dad. Now you might be thinking, now wait a minute, Tyrone. Uh, isn't, is, isn't it good that you had... No. Let me explain. Conservatives always like to bitch him. Oh, where are the fathers? Where are the fathers in these households? I'm like, uh, mine's over there on the couch. Uh, getting shit hammered. And getting ready to brawl. And throw whatever he's got laying next to him at my face. Is that better... I'd rather be a bastard, quite frankly. Any trans folk here in the comments tonight? Cool. Now, myself, I'm I'm 100% okay with being a guy. Uh, I'm fucking all natural, no additives, no hormones, USDA approved, organic, grass-fed, human male. And I enjoy it. Like, I, I, I like being a man, 100%. Now, do I have a feminine side that no one wants to see? Probably. But I'll tell you this, I tried to be a smooth charmer. I tried to be like a lover boy for a while. Be, get in touch with my feminine side, like maybe garden or some shit like that. Never get around to that, but I did try cooking because I have to live on my own now. And you figure, well, it's time to step up to the plate, take up a little responsibility, you know. So I started cooking for myself, and I thought, well, I'm single. And I'm trying to get bitches. Why am I wasting my time with some shit? Because you got you when you're dating, you gotta have the first meal outside of the home. So what's even the point? You're not gonna like bring a pan over to the restaurant with you, like, hey bitch, you wanna try my fucking frittata? It's like, no, you're gonna eat it all alone by yourself. So I'm just like, fuck this. It's Chinese takeout again. And by the time you get to the Chinese place, people already know. Sesame chicken special? It's like they, they're mind readers. The Chinese people, they know what order you had before you even walk in the door. It's, it's amazing. It's like you're their only customer. Even a shitty Chinese place, you gotta respect the hustle. They have handled this COVID crisis like nobody's business because they know that we're fucking racist. We like their food and we eat it, but we're still fucking racist, so they fucking plaster up the... The shops in all plastic. It's like it's like they're painting or something. And I walk in and she's like, You single? I'm like, What, you trying to hit on me? Let's go, bitch. I got a free egg roll with your name on it. Come unwrap my fortune cookie. Let's see what it says. How do you say lonely fat faggot in Chinese? Yeah, so I tried to be like, what's his name? The guy with the ponytail from the Sopranos, a uh, Fabrizio or whatever the fuck. But that didn't work out too well. And for a while, I was just one of these guys who ate ramen and and beer every night. And, and, like, dude, if you're doing that, get some real fucking food in you. It is not worth saving the fucking $10 a day. No wonder you're fucking sluggish and got no energy, bitch. Get some fucking food in you. Get off Twitter and get laid. Another reason I don't cook to, for myself is because I always make too much. I am not eating taco meat twice in the same week. I might as well take the leftovers down to the church for the priest to have like in a Tupperware dish like my mother used to do. Might as well suck his dick too, right? Because he ain't getting any. Consensually. And yet, some people would still say, I am privileged. I'm privileged like the prison librarian is privileged. If that's your standard, well, I don't know, that's not really a high bar, is it? Oh, the grass is greener on the other side? Yeah. It's still grass, motherfucker. Dogs take a shit on it. What do you want, an award? Have you noticed, by the way, that a lot of millennials and Gen Z kids 
are turning into boomers even faster than the boomers did. It's like, dude, you're 23 and in a midlife crisis. Like, why aren't you doing heroin? At least then you'd have an excuse. I'm not trying to be mean. I think you'd enjoy it. I don't begrudge anybody their vice. But if I ever started a liquor company, I know exactly who to rely on. My loyalist customers would be the millions of deaths of despair, they call them, that haunt this country every single day. You can get rich off of that. Aren't we a fantastic species? One of the funniest things I, I've seen recently are these FBI billboards that are t trying to get you to snitch on your own family because they might have gone to a protest. That's nice to know that I live in that country, right? 140,000 people lost their jobs last year. Snitch positions? Still hiring! Great to know that the rats have fucking job security. CNN was going, this is an insurrection. That was no insurrection. That was a barbecue for Christ's sake. You wanted to take a picture with Nancy Pelosi's dildo collection? That was your insurrection? If there was ever a group of people in worse need of a government job, how fucking bored are we in this country? I mean, you want to pop shit, at least finish the fucking job. I'm moving to France. You know why? Because in France, when the cops get to misbehaving, they beat the shit out of them. Get us some yellow vests over here in the States. Just take back the Statue of Liberty. Fuck you. I want to smell like shit. Bang broads all day and chain smoke. Hey buddy, if you don't like this country, I'll pay first class seat wherever you want to go. Yeah, okay Bubba. I'll, I'll save your number and I'll get back to you on that. Get some free miles out this fat ass. People complain about health care in America. I don't want health care. If I get that sick, toss me a shotgun. I ain't trying to be macho. I'm 23. I've had a good life. I just put out my memoirs. Dumbest thing you could fucking do is throw your money away in fear. Fuck health care. Go to Vegas. At least you'll get a show while you're dying. You know, and that's part of our condition of poverty. Because over in Europe, poverty is a fucking joke. Because I saw this kid in Gucci. This kid just all decked out in, in the flyest garments, flies a blimp, and, I, and I'm walking past, he's like, please, I need some money. I'm like, go ask your pimp, you little shit, and you can go any speed that you want in Italy. You, you can hit someone with your car and just be like, well, you shouldn't have been walking there, you know? Hey, hey, hey. It's like when you see these drug dealers on Snapchat, he's like, bro, I got Molly, Coke, Codeine, Weed, Ecstasy, LSD, Mushrooms. Your grandma's ashes. I got everything, bro. I got I got it out the ass and advertised. And then one of these days, you you never even bought off this prick, but he hits you up, bro. I'm stranded. Uh, I need some gas money. How much? Twenty dollars. I'm like, oh, okay. First of all, how you sell all these drugs and got no money for gas? Let me do the math on that, cause it's not quite adding up. You see these pricks from the census come banging on your door once every 10 years it's like Davy Jones trying to get a hooker. Hey, you slam the door in her face, pops up like a gopher the next day. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. The government needs to know where you live. I'm like, no. The government knows where I live. Or else they wouldn't have sent you here. They don't want to know where you live. They want to know if you consent to being fucked. And these are the same people who should be recording the votes. Okay, so up for the 2024 election, we got Rotten Dead Pussy versus Cum Towel Mushroom. Who's your pick? And you go, oh, Excellent choice, sir. You have a blessed day. And the guy walks away. And then a freedom-loving militia man comes up with a laser beam. And, <laughs> right to the head. You fucking traitorous... Benedict Arnold, anti-freedom, Patriot Act, piece of shit. You sell out, you, you rat on your own family because they disagree with you politically and you had a little scuffle over Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, slavery. I was a bitch, wasn't it? Japanese and internment camps, oh, we can laugh about it now. We act as though slavery is a thing of the past. Nope. It's called ICE, dipshit. It still exists. It's still going on. Still, now, half the country, after all this pandemic, all these little hints that the system is rigged against them, half 
this retarded fucking nation is still going, Hmm, I think we need to vote for Politician X because I don't like what Politician Y said about my t-shirt. And you expect me to still have hope? Do better.